don't know any, like many of the issues that we're facing. So by having a space where we can still talk and attract people to and discuss political things and ideas and things, I think it's um, very important and I think we definitely have the potential to create some change here. A lot of people have had so much interest since we've been here, since the 15th of October. I think it's uh, nearly 160 days now, so I'd like to think that we are making a difference and we've inspired a lot of people so far. Yeah. Do you think Occupy is relevant to Australia? Uh, definitely is relevant to Australia. We're, we're definitely not as bad off as, um, say, Europe and America or other countries, but we're, we're interlinked into that financial system. So when the next crash happens, which will probably be this year, then we will be just in the same boat as everyone else in the world. So I think it is just as relevant, if not more relevant here, because we can at least give people a bit of a warning if they're not already aware about you know what things are going to happen basically and yeah Australia is Australian people need to wake up just as much as the rest of the world. Vicky and Vicky because <laughs> um, two Vickys make a right. <laughs> yes. um, so why do you occupy? Wow um Really interesting question, Tess. Thanks for that. It's a very interesting little addition you have on your shoulders right there that I can't quite take you seriously. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I guess for me, um, the whole concept of the occupation, physical and non, is um, the Occupy movement is probably the first movement that for me has come along with such a wave of potential to change things for real. So many movements um, are just about going to a rally, signing a petition, going home, having a tea. Whereas Occupy is something that has literally just been living, breathing, pulsing, growing for such a long time. Um, that for me, it genuinely just fills me with hope that people are really beginning to see that change is possible. Um, so whether it's occupying physically in Martin Place or whether it's just going and doing a direct action under the banner, um, the movement is something that inspires me. Okay, and do you think Occupy is relevant to Australia? Hugely so. Um, interestingly, I was actually asked to speak at um, a Sydney University sociology uh, lecture this week, um, and the question was quite similar. The question was about, is um, class important to Australia? And myself and Frank Stilwell were discussing exactly this. Um, I think the Occupy movement is relevant wherever in the world you are, whether that's America, whether that's the UK, whether that's Australia. It's just relevant in very different ways. Um, I think Australia, especially Sydney, we have a huge amount of apathy. We have people that, until it's in their own backyards, are not interested. More and more with economic change, we're now seeing that it is in people's backyards. Um, so Occupy is probably one of the most relevant movements that we have um, to keep us real for the fact that we're not living in this perfect bubble, we're not living in this perfect world um, at all. Um, and until something fundamentally happens to someone, they lose their job or you know, a family member becomes homeless, they don't quite see um, what needs to happen in order to change that um, and occupy something that, although confronting to some, um, is really changing that conversation. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> okay. Why do you occupy, Vicky? I occupy because I want to keep every child that's not very rich safe. Thank you. That's really sweet. <laughs> that's so much better than my answer. <laughs> Well, I guess we live in a very unjust society, so there's a witness a lot of things. Um, I guess every time you hear about boat people, um, these people who are coming to the country fleeing for their lives from persecution just to come to Australia for further persecution, I think that's very unjust. Uh, it's the hardship people face every day, welfare, you know, the people are living on kids and they're made to feel guilty for those who are being on welfare. Um, I guess there's lots of people. Why do you feel that governments and corporations are too close? Um, well, I guess you only have to look at, say, what was it, 2010 when Kevin Rudd lost his job, um, where the Liberal Party was going on the attack against the, the mining tax, and the mining companies were able to uh, raise so much money and um, do all the advertising. But then I think you've always got a lot of big business. Like government contracts, like 